In September of 2007, my husband and I were coming home from a, a concert and two guys approached us in an attempted armed robbery. Shots was fired. I asked for my gun. I fired shots. They fired shots. After that happened, the only thing I could just remember is just seeing my husband laying on the ground and I couldn't get to him because I couldn't move. I didn't even realize my wife was shot until I walked back to the car. I walked back to the car, I looked at her and she was slumped over. I said, babe, you okay? She said, my back kind of hot. I grabbed my phone, I called 911. And I told the police where we was at. I told her, I sat down on the ground, I leaned against my car. I told her, I said, just breathe, we're going to be okay. He suffered a shot to the abdomen, which had him with life-threatening injuries, and as you can see, I'm paralyzed. You don't have to be in the streets. You don't have to sell drugs to be shot. You can just be at the gas station pumping your gas, and some criminal will just come up and rob you and just shoot you just plain day like it's nothing. And we have those kind of cold-hearted people in this world, not just Baton Rouge, in this world. My husband came up with the idea of starting a Stop the Violence organization, which he named, came up with the name One Voice, One Dream, One Team, and the uh, name of the event is Pack the Park. We decided that we would come together with the community in ridding Baton Rouge of crime. After the shooting, I mean, to be honest with you, Pack the Park was the furthest thing from my mind. My plan was to retaliate. God's plan was Pack the Park. First, I started uh, two years ago in To Stop the Violence when my sister was shot and I became the team chaplain in that group. There was a shootout in the club um, with nothing but teenagers was there and a young man got into the club with the gun and started shooting and I spoke at one of those teenagers' funerals and I, I told them, today is this young man, maybe tomorrow it could be you. Put the guns down. Stay away from the negative and just stop the violence. That's it.